where do you get your snacks at? Well, hello, all my party people. This is Courtney. Now, I'm a big fan of snacks, so I go to the Dollar Tree, and you can get a whole lot of really lovely, lovely things at the Dollar Tree. Dollar 25 tree right now, okay? We'll see what happens in the future. Inflation is real. Anyway, so I walk through there very, very frequently, and I tend to look at the books every so often. And I decided, why don't I see if any of these books are really worth reading? So I picked up this book here. Now, I will say that the footage that I'm about to show you, I got on a subsequent trip because for some reason when I picked up this book, I completely lost all of that footage. Do not ask me what I did with it. It just disappeared, disappeared, disappeared. Anyway, so this book here, right? This is called Invisible Girl by Lisa Jewell. And she is actually a pretty well-known author. So I wanna see what she contributes to the whole Dollar Tree commerce and why this particular book is there maybe versus all of her other ones, okay? And this book thus far is pretty good. I am about page 98 and it's definitely suspenseful. You have a whole lot of snooping <laughs> and second guessing people going on thus far. So you have a young girl named Sapphire who is self-harming. So she is seeing a psychologist named Rowan and she starts following him around because He's kind of sketchy if you ask me. And then you have Rowan and Kate. They're a married couple, right? Now, Kate has gotten caught snooping into Rowan's business. So their marriage is kind of sort of on a rocky point, but they're trying to keep it together. And then you have Rowan and Kate's daughter, right? So she says some creepy guy has followed her home from the subway, which happens to be <laughs> a guy that lives in the neighborhood. But then her friend gets sexually assaulted and they start already talking to the guy. His name is Owen. And then you find out that Owen basically is a 33 year old virgin that lives with his aunt that has just been fired from his job as a teacher due to complaints of sexual inappropriate behavior. So <laughs> he is not having a good day, a good week, okay? So pretty much he has a very low opinion of women and think that they're just all out to get men in life. And he finds another guy that has that same belief system. So I'm curious if Owen's going to go down a bad path or not. So we shall see. See. And that is as far as I am in this book. Things have not come together, but it looks like it's building and I'm excited for it. But I did learn the term incel, I-N-C-E-L. And that's basically a term for a young man who desires to have a relationship with someone, but is unable to. So I guess that's who Owen is. He is an incel. So anyway, so I'm gonna keep reading and I'll be back. finished Invisible Girl and it was okay. It didn't wow me, but I did enjoy the book. So pretty much you have this young girl named Sapphire who goes missing and everybody's pointing to the creepy guy in the neighborhood as the dun dun dun, he did it. So you're trying to figure out did he or did somebody else do something to her or has there been anything done to her in the first place but i thought that it had a lot of twists um i did think that it was suspenseful because i kept going back and forth as to who i thought did it and in the end i did get a shocker um but I did feel that certain parts of this book was not realistic in that like when you're in an education sector and you're accused of certain things, that is not easy to overcome. And this book was very simplistic in how it handled that. I also felt that the mom, Kate, was a definite pushover and just did not make sense. Like, okay, this isn't much of a spoiler, but let's say your husband gets a card in the mail, a Valentine's Day card, right? 
wouldn't you open it if you don't know who it's from? I know I'm about to open that mail and figure out who's sending my man something. And she's just like, I don't need to know. That's his business. Whatever. And especially since she's a nosy business in the first place. So I'm gonna let that one go. But I did like this book. I just felt that there just should have been more to it. And I felt a bit let down in that respect. But it does have a pretty cover. And it says here that Lisa Jewell has sold over 4.5 million copies internationally. So maybe this just isn't one of her greater works of that it was at the dollar 25 tree. I have no idea, but uh, worth checking out, but I wasn't wild by it. Anyway, so I did check out some of the other books that were on the Dollar Tree shelf. There is My Mother's House by Francesca Momplaser, and it looks like it's basically about a man from Haiti that takes his family to New York and he starts getting into some vices and something about the house that he is in is going to help alleviate him of his sins. So it's a thriller. Looks pretty interesting. And then you have Free Fall by Jessica Berry. And I guess you have a mom who does not believe that her adult daughter died in a plane crash. Which apparently it looks like she didn't. So I guess you're getting their two different perspectives. And then you have City of Windows by Robert Poby. And I guess this is book one of a three book series where you have this FBI agent who is investigating a sniper shooting and enlist the aid of a professor. And then you have Dragon Slayer, which is also part of a trilogy where I guess you have dragon slayers that are no longer needed by this kingdom. So this dragon slayer, ex-dragon slayer becomes drunk and disgraced. And then all of a sudden dragon slayers are needed to a new threats. And I guess he has to come out of retirement. So I don't know. They seem like they have some pretty interesting books. So if you're interested in checking out the Dollar Tree and picking up some of these books, um, I would say they may be worth a read. So let me know if you have ever picked up a book from the Dollar Tree and what you thought of it. Well, I'm going to go off and read some other books because I definitely have a few things on my TBR. So please like, subscribe, and comment, and maybe I'll see you in the Dollar Tree getting some snacks because I could definitely use some. <laughs> Bye, y'all.